Welcome back to the Mass Effect European Space Agency series. In this episode, we'll learn about the challenges of traveling to distant planets together in isolation. We made it. In Mass Effect Andromeda, humanity embarks on a journey to a faraway galaxy. With today's technology, even traveling to planets close by will take us several months. To simulate such a long trip, Romain Charles lived in confinement for 520 days with a crew of scientists. And Dr. Beth Healy spent one year at the world's most remote research facility. Concordia is an Antarctic station and we're looking specifically at long duration space flight. So the thing that really stands Concordia out from the crowd is the isolation. Behind any scientific experiment you have a big question. And this one was, is man able to endure the confinement of a trip to Mars? Living in isolation and confinement comes with great physical and psychological challenges. Surrounded by the hostile environment of space, humans will have to sacrifice a lot of the comfort and freedom we take for granted here on Earth. In an environment like Concordia, although you are isolated, you also have this forced human interaction as well, and you really can't escape the rest of the crew. Um, and also when big conflicts might be happening within the crew. Staying in the same environment with the same people for such a long period of time, without seeing the sun or anything, how do we cope with that and, um, and move forward as a team always working efficiently. Community is imperative for enduring long-distance voyages. Interacting with people from different backgrounds, however, can be difficult. But if you're eager to learn more about your crew, there's a story to discover behind every character. In the end, cultural differences was really a wealth because we, we had an infinity of subjects we could talk about. And now I know their history so well that I relate to them as old friends, and, um, and that's how I see and feel about them now. To become closer as a team, social interaction is crucial. Human beings rely heavily on personal relationships and have a strong need for solidarity, loyalty, and intimacy. I think it's always the human side. I think that's gonna be the real challenge. Without doubt, for me, it would be having somebody that I could really get on with, really confide in. And I think as long as I had one person on the mission that I felt really close to, I think, I'd, you know, you can face anything. No matter how far we want to travel, we'll always need humanity to enjoy the journey. That's what defines our species, and that's what keeps pushing us forward. Knowing that there is a goal and an end to the trip was very important. That's one of the things I learned from Mars 900. But at the core of it, I think it's uh, curiosity like trying to answer new questions, uh, to go a bit further, understanding a bit further and explore to do that. Mm -hmm.